Today in Garden Fork, external hard drive replacement. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to DIY Garden Fork. Today we're doing electronic computer repair. In the kitchen? Uh, yeah, it's the cleanest place I have, <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna show you today how to replace the hard drive in an external drive that you may have. So if you have a drive that's failed or is beginning to fail, you can replace the drive inside here and have a new hard drive. How do you know it's about to fail? Uh, I know this one is failing because it flakes out when I'm trying to write files to it. Um, and it just acts weird. Acting weird doesn't always mean you should replace it. <laughs> My point here is that <laughs> hard drive enclosures like this one are made really well and if the drive inside is failing you can just replace the drive. Now the question here is uh, what kind of drive to replace it with. You want what's called a bare drive. Now it's a drive that would usually be put, it's called an internal hard drive. This is a bare drive. So you will want to buy a bare drive and most of these bigger external drives are a three and a half inch eSATA drive. So you can tell that by looking here there's an eSATA uh, connection here. So you basically want to get the same drive. Sometimes you can get a larger drive and fit it in here as well. That's what we're going to do today. This is a one terabyte. I'm going to put a four terabyte in it, which would be nice. A couple things to remember. You want to do this on a clean surface. You want to discharge any static electricity you may have in your body. You literally touch the sink. The sink is usually grounded to the electrical system to the ground, so you're discharging any static charge you have. And then you can work on this. Are you making that up? Don't rub your feet on carpet while you're doing this. Um, and there you go. If you notice on the back of the drive are some screws. And we're going to take these screws off. And then you're going to take this little sticker covering this screw. That's their way of telling if you've messed with the box and you're voiding your warranty. But this thing is three years old anyway, so it's past its warranty. So these are Phillips. Not, not all of them have really long screws like that. Usually these are very tiny screws. This is kind of an unusual, unusual design. All right, so now the front of this is gonna come off. Oh yeah. Like that. If I take the bottom off, there are two screws here, okay? My point with showing people this is most people will throw the whole hard drive and the enclosure out because, oh, it's broke, it's not good anymore. And what I want to tell people is, when you're doing a little DIY electronics, you can reuse the enclosure and save money because you're just buying a, a bare drive like this is much less expensive than a whole new hard drive with an enclosure. So if your drive is failing or failed, you can just buy a new hard drive and use the enclosure. This is a really nice enclosure. Why do they fail? Hard drives are very much like a record player. There are these discs, they're magnetic discs and they have an arm that goes across them. And after spinning for thousands and thousands of times, they eventually wear out. Okay, I've removed the two screws in the bottom. Okay. And this literally falls out like that. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is the drive we're going to remove from its chassis. There are two screws here and that's holding the drive onto the chassis. So we'll just remove that. And then these screws here. Be very careful around this circuit board. You don't want to scrape it or drop anything on it or break it. And then this pulls out like that. That looks easy. So this is our broken drive and this is our good chassis. And we're gonna put a new drive on here. If the drive is still functioning, you can copy the media or files that are on the drive onto your new bare drive by using what's called a dock. These are pretty cool. They literally allow you to take bare drives and this is now a hard drive. And you can use a cable to connect this to your computer and your drive, copy the old data over to your new drive, put this drive in the enclosure. So you can use the dock more than once? Yeah, this dock is really great. There's a link below to buy these docks. I like them a lot. You obviously have one. They're great. They're great for doing backups. Okay, here's our new drive. So I'm gonna take the drive and slide it in. Easy peasy. And it just mates up. And then we make sure that the holes are lined up back here. 
So these four screws hold your hard drive onto the chassis with all the electronics that run the hard drive. All right, brand new drive on the chassis. I'm ready to put it back in here. You can do this. It's just be sure you're grounded. Be sure you're grounded. You've discharged electricity to a ground, so you're well grounded. Excuse and then buy me, a drive. Excuse me, are you well grounded? No. Uh, but I am going to slide this in. Pay attention, there are some screw holes here, and there are some screw holes here. Okay? It's easy to flip, it's easy to put this in upside down. So this. Hold on, I just have to nudge it in here. So. Oh, that time did click. Yeah, nice. So these screws go in. So we're just putting Humpty Dumpty back together again. Yep, exactly. Very good. Put this on here. This has to line up. This little button has to line up with the button there. Alright. You can do that. Just like that. Okay. Go back in. Upside down. So that really didn't take very long. But you know what you're doing. No, this, um, take pictures as you go along. Um, Good idea. As you take it apart, take pictures. There are a couple little things to remember, but you can do this. I just did this all with uh, a couple of little screwdrivers. I mean, we all, you should have a little collection of little smaller screwdrivers. Uh, we'll link to a screwdriver kit in the show notes here. Um, but this is kind of neat because this enclosure, this is a good company that makes this enclosure um, and it's out of warranty. They're not going to replace the drive and the box is still good. The electronics are still good. It's just the hard drive itself. There's a lot of electrical mechanical activity in here. It wears out. This box and its electronics are still very good. There you go. We've replaced the drive in our drive enclosure. You save yourself some money, you're good to go. These are kind of cool. Give them to your kids. Taking these apart is a lot of fun. Um, sorry, Labradors. They will not take this apart. It's not as much fun for them. But it's kind of a neat electronics aha to let your kids take this stuff apart. They can learn about electronics. Maybe it'll start spark their interest in a career, you know? So there you go, more DIY videos on our site, also on our YouTube channel. You wanna subscribe, hit the button right there. You can also get our email newsletter, it comes out every week. There's a link for that here, hopefully as well, and down in the show notes. And again, links to buy the drives and some tools I suggest are here in the show notes as well. All right, so go out and do cool stuff. If you have some comments or thoughts about this. I have a comment. Yep. Are we gonna get to see your tape Dewey Decimal System in the future? Blue tape is very high tech. <laughs> All right, there you go. Any questions, comments, leave them below. Always like to hear from people, okay? So make it a great day. I'll see you. All right, if I give you these, you're gonna be quiet so I can finish the show, right? Right.